Lake Michigan is one of the largest freshwater lakes in the world, providing drinking water, recreation, and economic opportunities for millions of people. It shapes Milwaukee's identity, connecting the city to a vast network of communities that depend on clean water. But for decades, pollution from industries along our rivers has threatened the lake's health. Milwaukee was once known as the machine shop of the world. For years, our waterways were lined with machine shops, tanneries, and breweries. The waterways served as both a transportation system and a sewer for industry. Pollution from past industrial use is still in the sediment at the bottom of Milwaukee's rivers, making the water unsafe for people and wildlife. Because of this, in 1987, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, declared the Milwaukee Estuary, where the Milwaukee, Menominee, and Kinnikinick Rivers meet Lake Michigan, an area of concern, or AOC. Since then, many partners have been working together as the Waterway Restoration Partnership to clean up our rivers. Together, they are tackling one of the biggest challenges, where to safely put the contaminated sediment. Right now, there's a site north of the Lake Express Ferry Dock called the Confined Disposal Facility. It's been holding dredged materials collected from cleanup efforts, but it's almost full. Without a new place to store the material, the progress to restore the rivers could slow down. That's where a big solution comes in. MMSD, alongside the City of Milwaukee, the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources, We Energies, and Port Milwaukee, are building a new Dredged Material Management Facility, or DMMF, in the Milwaukee Harbor. This facility will provide a safe and secure home for 1.9 million cubic yards of contaminated sediment, enough to fill 13 football fields five stories high. So how do you build something like this? The first step in the construction is to build the walls. The contractor does this by installing large circular pipes called king piles. Between the king piles are sheet piles. These sheets complete the wall. Together, they form the border of the DMMF. Then the contractor will construct a tie rod system that holds the walls together on the water sides of the DMMF. Next step is to fill the space between the walls with sand. Once the sand is in place, the contractor can begin to install the interior wall that prevents water and contaminants from moving through the DMMF. The final step is to add a gravel driving surface to the top so dump trucks can safely transport and place the contaminated sediment into the DMMF. Once built, it will be filled with contaminated sediment that the EPA will be removing from our waterways. Once constructed, MMSD will transfer the ownership and operation of the DMMF to the Port of Milwaukee. This project is a major step towards bringing us one step closer to a Milwaukee where everyone can enjoy the water. This is more than just a project. It's a promise to future generations that our rivers will be safe, beautiful, and full of life once again.